We are the Three Titans. Today, we will be planting 20 million trees. But do you really believe that planting trees can save our earth? After countless years of deforestation and burning of fossil fuels, do you really think we can make up for what was lost? At least we're trying to undo our actions. The search for a renewable source of energy is a top priority to relieve society's current state of crisis. Well, it doesn't look like illegal logging will ever end. Oh. Welcome to 22nd Century Earth. Wow! What's that? That is artificial photosynthesis. Huh? Isn't that what plants do? Yes! Artificial photosynthesis biomimics the natural process of photosynthesis. It uses sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into energy-rich chemical fuels and oxygen. It was a shining beacon of light when our world was crumbling under global warming. Wow, I can't believe humans discovered a carbon neutral, renewable and scalable source of energy. Seems too good to be true. What just happened? No idea. But well, let's talk about artificial photosynthesis. Titanium dioxide nanoparticles are coupled with a dye and then emerge in an electrolyte solution with a platinum cathode. The electrons are excited by the sunlight absorbed, producing a current. This current splits water into its molecular compounds, releasing oxygen and storing a reduced form of hydrogen in iridium oxide nanoparticles. This is known as the light reaction. The next part is the Kelvin cycle, where carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide reacts with hydrogen to produce methanol in the presence of magnesium oxide supported platinum catalysts. These greenhouse gases can be filtered out from the emissions of factories to be used in this process, fighting global warming at the same time. But isn't photosynthesis produced glucose? Why methanol? Well, glucose is difficult to convert and manage as fuel for technology and electricity. Hold on! Health. Aside from automotive sectors, wastewater treatment, and power generation facilities, methanol produces clean fuel without generating any harmful byproduct, like greenhouse gases. Since water and carbon dioxide are a limitless source, it is cheaper than other energy forms in the long run. In fact, artificial photosynthesis removes large amounts of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide from the air while releasing oxygen back to it, which helps in reversing global warming. Although researchers are still striving for perfection, the concept of renewable energy by artificial photosynthesis is a valuable and promising solution to create a sustainable future of planetary health. Doing what the trees do!